all right so in the last video we understood how to create uh, quizzes and also we created one question so this was the question that i had posted and yes the response has been received so how do you see the response you click on the question you go to turn it in and here you see the response this was the only response that was available then of course you can assign the person some marks so let's say i give the person five marks and then i click on return once i do that what happens is the person receives an email and he is notified of the score that he has obtained so this is a simple way to evaluate your questions now if you again go back to the grade book you can see that this particular question has also been marked so this is how Google classroom actually facilitates assignments questions quizzes and you can do the entire assessment here with no difficulty now i'm going to move on to one last thing and that is creating a rubrics now what is a rubric of course we all know we decide on some criteria and we assign marks according to those criteria you can do the same in google classroom too now how do you do it for this let me create an assignment so you go to classwork click on create click on assignment so let's say uh in this assignment, I want the student to write a character sketch of, let's say, Hamlet. Now what I have to do is, I'm going to click on this particular tab out here, which is rubric. Here. So I'm going to click on this. Now there are three options create rubric reuse rubric and import from sheets so i'm going to create rubric now okay so this is the rubric that i have now what you're able to see here is there are some criterions so let's see since i need a character sketch this is a literary piece of work so i decide on the first criterion as organization of the content that the person has written here you can specify a description and give let's say five points for organization now we talk about the levels that you would like it to take so let's say the first is exceptional so the total points in this case is five let's say that if it's all coherent and precise then you give the person five points now to add another level to it what you do is click on this now let's say four points for let's say average or above average so here you say yes it is current but let's say lacks transitions so similarly you can keep adding levels over here now if you like to add a criteria then you click on this so you add a criteria over here so maybe you can say vocabulary usage so on and so forth so this is how you can create a rubrics and what you just have to do is click on save of course I mean, there are errors once you can create an entire rubric you can save this and then you can grade your students accordingly great so this is how you can work with google classroom this is the small classroom that i have created so to give a brief recap first of all we created a google classroom account from the stream you could see what all notifications come up through classwork you could add material like videos or presentations or documents assignments so on quizzes and through the people's tab you can see the list of teachers and the students and finally through grades you could maintain a grade book so this is how google classroom works i hope this helps and you are now able to function with your own google classrooms thanks a lot